Hello my Tides and Vixens, Ariana Volpus here, and for the second time, I'm happy to say welcome back to Sankar Tor. Now, we're getting deep into the realm of Sankar Tor at this point. Can't really get out that way. But I do believe there's just one person left. And we're at the crucial point where we actually can't find the freaking way out. <laughs> Don't you just love when that happens? There's got to be a way up. Don't know what I did, but frickin' worked. What is going on? Okay. Not a lot. Are you kidding me? I've been doing frickin' laps of this chamber, and there's a ramp right in front of me. Ay, ay, ay. I'm having one of those days where I really seem to fit the vixen stereotype. You know, dumb blonde. Come and get me, big boy. You know you you know what you want to. I only want to kill you a little bit. Come on. And, uh, thank you. Come again. Oh, no. Not ready to go that way just yet. And I've only got the one hammer. Yeah. Not gonna risk things at the moment. Meanwhile, down in the prison. Huh, it's considered the Gerald Mountains. Okay. Oh, hello, ugly bow. Got news for ya. You're dead. Again. <laughs> I have a little too much fun with this. Okay. The problem with places like this, the dead don't like staying that way. And it, it's getting to the point where it's really starting to get up my nose, you know? Speaking of getting up your nose, I apologize about that. the sudden muting. I know a, probably a few people have noticed that I'm sounding a little nasal at the moment. I wish I actually had an honest explanation. Dude's dead. That mace didn't do a damn thing. Cannot wait when enemies are nearby. The door opens. Dude dies. 
few septums for my troubles. I can live with that. Oh boy. I swear if this gets any worse, because I know what it is. I know it's my lungs and throat trying to detox after so many years of smoking. Those who know me are probably laughing going, <laughs> bitch, please, you barely smoked. Well, let me put it this way. Once upon a time, I used to... I used to not run just because I didn't feel like it. But anybody... Anybody at home who is considering giving it up. I'm not gonna say you should do it. I'm not that kind of person, you know, your typical butt munch. Because nine times out of 10, Quitting, you know, all the gum, the patches, the stuff that doesn't work. It, co it ends up costing more than smoking itself. And it's all well and good. I mean, I'm a firm believer of each to their own. But, if you're genuinely ready to give it up, you don't need any of this expensive crap. To help you quit. It's just, you've already got it hardwired into your head that I don't want to do this anymore. And you don't. The mind has the best healing power imaginable. All you've got to do is use it. You're not gonna sudden. You're not gonna make like the doctor and suddenly turn into. and suddenly take on the form of. completely new person. the shrine of the under king's foul magic and hooray freaking mission accomplished oh. a locked chest all that for 17 septums I don't even think the lock picks cost that much. That's a dead end. What do we got down here? Another chest. Just a potion. No, no, no. Well, everything's 
dead in here now, so I can just keep moving. Anyway, like I said, smoking. When you're ready to give it up, it's just that easy. I've been off since May. You get temp... And I'm not gonna... You know, profess being clean. I do still get tempted from time to time. Nobody is perfect. Whoa! Oh, son of a... Oh, that actually worked. Nice and easy. Let's just watch this. Just waiting on Baltimore. Description on this tomb is illegible. Here lies Remen of Cyrodiil. He defeated the Akaviri Horde and brought peace to Tamriel 2762. Here lies Raymond II of Cyrodiil, crowned Emperor of Tamriel in the year 2812. He fell in battle against the Dark Elves in the 57th year of his age, after a reign of 39 years and 8 months wanting a day. Wow. I knew the Dunmer were fierce fighters, but damn. The inscription on this tomb is illegible. Serious lads. We have fulfilled our last duty. We go now to Aetherius without shame. Farewell. Farewell, brother. See you on the other side. Lies Raymond the Third, the last emperor of the Cyrodiils, the scourge of the Dark Elves, who was cruelly slain by treachery in the year 2920. He reigned 43 years. So I'm guessing I have to go all the way back out the way I came in. Well, <laughs> that sucks. Oh, wait, no, no. Yeah. is a little jackrabbit. It is going to lead me back the way I came in, because that chest is going to have all the crap I left behind. You know what? I'm not really going to miss it, so not even going to bother with it. Let's just gun it. Gunny. Gunny. 
Gerald Mountains. Wait a minute. Is there actually another way out? Right behind me it should be. Oh, would you look at that. At least without having to sneak around as much, you get out a lot faster than you went in. Especially when you stop being such a dumbass fart knocker. Here we go! It should be just around this corner of these stairs and Oh, I missed the night time. I didn't feel your stupid nunkum poop. Where's my hoss? My kingdom for my hoss, and there you are. Actually, if I follow this path, it's going to lead me right back to the Orange Road, which means I'll get to Bruma a lot faster. I'm going to make the long gallop downhill. That's actually the bridge. Don't make a Simon and Garfunkel joke. And whatever you do, don't sing. I'm still miles off the orange road. Road, at least. I don't see us getting back to Bruma before the video ends. It'd be nice if it happened, but at the same time, I don't see it happening.
was about to say there is no way that was actually the road to Bruma. I might actually be a lot closer than I think. Oh. Oh, that view is just breathtaking. I could live off the side of this road just for the view alone. Also, Peter Jackson, if you are watching, I've got another move I've got another movie franchise for you. <laughs> Could you imagine all this being shot in New Zealand? Cuz really you think of New Zealand and your mind immediately turns to Lord of, Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth, and its rich landscapes. And it's all just... For such a small nation, it's certainly a magnificent one. Oh, hello, Oblivion. Ain't nobody got time to deal with you at the moment. No, 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 no. Ain't nobody got time for that. every so often. I mean, I know last week's videos all went over, and I do apologize for that. But at the same time, I also kind of don't, because I felt that last week's videos were... they justified their length. Red Sky, go away. Please fade back. I don't want to be reminded that this place is currently being invaded by hell itself. Apologize again. At least I'm not sounding as nasal as I did earlier. Oh, no, wait, I am. <laughs> but we're gonna make it. We are definitely gonna make it.
I had no idea that we would, but we have. There's a little bit faster. Your Regency. My progress on the Mysterium Xarxes is slow, I'm afraid. How goes your search for the armor of Tiber Septim? Well, I don't know, you tell me. The Septim blood may flow through my veins, but you have the soul of a hero. The armor of Tiber Septim himself. Joffrey will be amazed to see it. You can reassure Joffrey that I will not destroy the armor. All I need is a scraping of Talos' divine blood. The blades are as touchy as priests about relics of Tiber Septim, it seems. <laughs> While you were gone, I've made some progress in deciphering the Mysterium Xarxes ritual. The third item we need is a great Welkin stone. You may have run across lesser Welkin stones, they're fairly common in alien ruins, but a great Welkin stone will not be easy to come by. They have been plundered one by one over the years due to their great value to mages and occultists. There is only one place that is rumored to still contain one. The ruins of the Aeliad city have misgarkened. A place where many have perished seeking its great stone. But nothing else will do, so you must succeed where all others have failed. Wouldn't be the first time. I mean, keep in mind, I just went through Sankar Tor. The capital of one of the ancient Aeliad kingdoms which flourished in Cyrodiil before the rise of men. It is said that the ruins are still haunted by the vengeful spirit of its last king. True or not, it is not a place to enter lightly. Be careful. Well, one does not just... One does not simply walk into an alien ruin without being prepared. What kind of moron do you take me for? The pinnacle of alien magic. Once, every alien city had its great stone. But they've all been plundered over the centuries. All but one. The Great Stone of Miskarkand is reputed still to shine in the deep darkness of its ruined halls. But no one has ever done more than glimpse it from a distance. It is said to be guarded by the ghost of the last king of Miskarkand. Miskarkand is one of the most extensive Aeliad ruins in Cyrodiil. It was the capital of one of the ancient Aeliad kingdoms. You might find glories and laments among the Aeliad ruins useful. I have the library's copy at my table if you need it. Thank you, my liege. But for the meantime, I shall take careful, my leave. my friend. I know you've braved many dangers already, but Miss Garkand is not to be taken lightly. Acknowledged. And I shall take my leave for now, and to you guys, I shall take my leave. Thank you for sitting through this video. Now, if you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed making it, please, please, please put your paws to that like button. And let me know what you're thinking. Am I doing things right? Are there things I could be doing better? Well, of course there are. There's probably 15 million things I could be doing better. <laughs> and if you want to be kept up to date with my videos as they come out, put your part of the subscribe button as well. But in the meantime, I am Ariana Volpes. Thanks again for watching. Keep your ears forward, your tails up, and happy hunting. <laughs>